Hi, now we continue our lecture on multicollinearity problem in multiple regression model by understanding the role of the variant inflation factor or VIF. Right. The role of VIF is simply a term used to describe when two or more predictors in your regression are highly correlated. The VIF measure how much the variance of an estimated regression coefficient increase if your predictor are correlated. Each predictor in your model will have a VIF value. How to interpret the VIF result? The VIF value can be produced by using SPSS software during performing the multiple regression model. Basically, if the VIF value lies between 1 to 10, then there is moderate multicollinearity problem in regression model. If the VIF value less than 1 or more than 1, or more than 10, then there is multicollinearity in the regression model. Or we can say that strong multicollinearity or serious multicollinearity in the regression model. If the VIF is equal to 1, so we can say that there is no multicollinearity among factors. But if the VIF is greater than 1, the predictor may be moderately correlated. If the value more than 10, it can be said as serious multicollinearity problem in the estimated regression model. There are some examples regarding the term of VIF in SPSS output. The first one shows that uh, some of the predictors have more than 10 VIF value, but there are two variables less than 10. And in second example, between competency and motivation, we can say that the value of VIF is less than 10. How to interpret the VIF result from the given example given? According to the result above, yeah, uh, the VIF value of X1, X2, X3 and X4 are highly and more than 10 and high and more than 10. This result indicate that strong, serious or strong multicollinearity problem happen in the estimated model. Yeah, this for value of VIF. In addition, the VIF value of X5 and X6 are lower than 10 indicates moderate multicollinearity in the estimated model. Right. In second example, here competence and motivations. According to the result above, the VIF value of competence and motivation are less than 10 but more than 1. This result indicates that moderate multicollinearity happen in the estimated model. I hope this uh, answer justification to elaborate the result of VIF We help you to answer uh, the tutorial provided in the econometric model. So now I want to show you how to perform the VIF test in by using SPSS. Now let's consider this data. From here, you to start the uh, to do the VIF test, we have to use the regression. Firstly, we have to do regression. Okay, you have to put the independent x y and x y x uh, y uh, x y x two and x three as independent. Then where is VIF? VIF is actually in statistic criteria here. You have to click on statistic. Then here is the VIF name as collinearity diagnostic. And continue. Say OK. So the output will become up. And as you see, 
the value of BIF is here and as you can see the, va the value of BIF for X1, X2, X3 is less than 10 and more than 1 indicates that moderate multicollinearity problem in the regression model. I hope this discussion will help you to understand further regarding the role of BIF in helping you to understand uh, more to understand more about multicollinearity problem in the multiple regression model. Okay, thank you.